Hello, today we're having a look at the fly-by-wire A320 mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator and more specifically we're going to look at the integration with Simbrief to program the aircraft automatically. So let's go inside the cockpit and you can see we're cold and dark on the tarmac here. I think we're at Antalya so we're going to have a look above. So external power is available. So we're going to switch it on and turn some basic systems on. So the APU on, get it warmed up. Turn the IRS system on. Turn the crew supply on. Turn the fuel pumps on, ready for the engines later. Um, so yeah, we're just going to switch a few things on enough to power the aircraft up basically so we can then go and have a look at the MCDU so we'll just turn the brightness of these screens up while we're here and over that side whoops over this side for the co-pilot as well I'm not very accurate with my mouse today okay right so the first thing we're going to do is go and switch the tablet on So it's worth pointing out, before I came into the simulator, I went into Simbrief and I programmed the flight. So if I look in the My Briefing, it shows you your most recently saved flight. So I'm a British Airways flight 1234 with an A320 flying from LTAI to LUKK. Yep, so you can see down here, there's the flight plan. So, and there's the full description of the flight plan. So let's go and have a look at the system. So the tablet has now launched. Now you, if you've been playing around with a fly-by-wire A320 you will have noticed this typically has no data on it. So what you can do is go into the company page, put in your username, so you just click in there, put your username into the company page and it's asking for the Simbrief username. So there's my username for Simbrief and then as soon as you click away that's the same as entering it and then you can come back to the dashboard tab and you can say from Simbrief. And that's talked to the internet and it's gone and fetched my current flight plan from Simbrief. So we've got all the information in here now. More interestingly, in dispatch, I've also got the operational flight plan, which is quite cool. So I can refer to that during the flight and I can zoom in. He says famous last words. There you go. I can zoom in to make the writing a bit bigger. Um, and I can look at my fuel and payload. So more interestingly I think is what you can do inside the MCDU so a lot of this functionality is very specific to the fly-by-wire mod and to the real aircraft so let's just clear this these warnings out of the way so we're looking at the MCDU first thing we're going to need to do and you only need to do this once is go to options then go to AOC then go down to Simbrief and put your username in. Now I actually typed in John Beckett and as soon as I pressed um, on the, the the soft key next to I typed John Beckett into the scratch pad, pressed the soft key next to the field and it put John Beckett in and then it flipped it to be my actual in, the internal user ID number from Simbrief. So it did that on its own. I didn't type in 330725. Okay so I guess you can use that as a verification of sorts. If your name turns into a number, you know it's working. So once I did that, you can come back out to the MCDU menu and you can go into ATSU. So ATSU actually stands for Air Traffic Services Unit. So it's the integration for, with ground systems with the aircraft. So you can upload data into the aircraft automatically or request data from the ground when you're in flight. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit of that as well. So we're going to go into the AOC menu. AOC stands for Airline Operational Control. So if we come in here, we can go to the init press menu and we can initialize or initiate, sorry, a data request. So if we do that, there you go. There's our information from Simbrief has come in. Yeah. So if we go back now to the AOC menu, I don't think we need to do anything more in here. We can go to our initialization page though for the MCDU itself for the flight plan and you see there's an init request button so now we can press that and you can see uplink insert in progress. 
So it's actually loading our flight plan from the request we put in through the, e through the AOC. So it's done it. So we can clear these messages out of there. And if we go and have a look in the flight plan now, there's our whole flight plan has been programmed. So there's a, it's some interesting other bits and pieces we can do as well. If we look in the MCDU menu and go back into ATSU and go back into AOC, you can see there's a performance weight and balance section. If we come in here, we can get the aircraft re the fuel loaded according to what's been predicted on the flight plan. Does that make sense? So if we go back out of here, we can also do interesting things like do a weather request. So we want to do a meta request and it's also it's already picked up the airports that are in our flight plan that we've got in the system already. So we want to get a a meta information message. So we'll send that. That goes to the ground and it comes back to the aircraft again. Yeah? So if we go back to AOC and we can see received messages here. If we look in received messages, there's nothing has come in yet. So if we just give it a few moments, hopefully it will come through fairly quickly. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, but it would in the real aircraft, so the speed is simulated. Oh, here we go, we've got a Metar message. So if I look at that, we can see there's the message, and I think this is really cool, we can print it out. So I've clicked on the button, and if we go and look at the printer now, it's coming out of the printer in the aircraft so obviously that's the wrong way around for us to look at easily so we can just click on this and what it does it lays it on the dashboard on this blank area of the dash so the pilots can see the meta print out while they're in flight i think that's fantastic so anyway you saw the simbrief integration there we were able to load our flight plan directly into the mcdu from simbrief without having to fiddle around with it ourselves and you know it's all in there the whole flight plan is there ready to go with you know any um secondary runways it's all done and over here you get to see you know where, your current status on the tablet which is really cool as well so obviously we can zoom in and you can see the weather projected on here live as well it's all clever stuff, and I, I think it's fantastic. So this is the Simbrief integration into the fly-by-wire A320 mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator, which gives you a whole stack of ATSU functionality that is integrated with Simbrief. Okay, I think that will do for today.